So, the big question at the time of separation is um, how do we sort everything out? Do I really have to sit down with this person that I now don't get on with, I've really been hurt by, I really struggle to have two sentences without wanting to kill him, kill her, all of that. How do we actually talk about what to do with our accounts, how to, how to parent our kids? What's that all about? Um, I think that question more than any other um, drove me to, to be involved in writing about separation and divorce. And, and that really came from the work that I do as a mediator, where we meet people right at the point where that is the question they're asking. Can I really come into this room, sit down and civilly work out what we're going to do about our money when he has done this to me, she has done this to me? And when all is said and done, there's basically three choices. You have these things to sort out. You have a life that needs some sort of um, conclusion, if you like, and you've got a life to lead that requires the conclusion to work for you. So you either sit down together at the kitchen table and hammer it out. You, you um, can opt to come to meet with a mediator, somebody like myself who can help you focus on your decision making, but have the expertise to help you manage not to row. Or you can go to um, a solicitor and go to court and have a third person actually decide for you and actually present you with an agreement. These are the three basic choices. And all of them say the same thing. These issues have to be handled. And at some point, you have to talk. You have to figure. So there are some things that um, I suppose you would say are good to be able to do if you are going to manage to talk and figure something out. What do you, what do you need to be able to uh, do together? The top one is to actually find some time to sit down where there's nothing else getting in your way. You're not sitting in the middle of the, the family home where there's kids running around, but maybe you, you make time and you, you go out to a coffee shop, somewhere like that for 20 minutes, and just actually decide that for that period of time, you're going to talk about how you sort out your separation. And be honest with each other. If you are in a situation where you're rowing all the time, well, you know, that's fair enough. That's the reality. So maybe you do need a third person to work with you to help that not happen. If you're going to get a good decision on any of the issues you face, each of you have to be able to voice your own needs, your own interests from your point of view. You also need to be able to listen to those needs and interests that the other person has. And thirdly, together you have to be able to problem solve and find an answer that works for you both and your family. So if you can do that, then that's great, that's the task. If you need somebody to work with you to do something similar with a plan that meets those needs, then that's what you need to do. And if really it all seems too much, then it's a third party that's going to make the decisions for you. Whatever the right way forward for you, it's all about not making things worse in terms of how you get on. This is a time where anger and conflict will be at its height. If you're having to live under the one roof together, if you've not managed to separate literally into two homes, there's lots of pressures. Look to the future and know it will not always be like that but also look to the future and know that how you make your decisions now can affect in a good way how you come out of this time of conflict and strain. If you want to look at any of the, the, the further writings we have, if you go to the book Divorce and Separation in Florida, um, you will find more on this subject.